cart down to the curb? We all do it. Thank you. Love you. But why? Americans recycle 34% of all the waste they create. That means over a third of household products and groceries are recycled. Recycling eliminates the need to keep producing new containers and allows us to reuse packaging. By making this commitment, we are choosing to be good stewards of our environment. All items that are not recycled go through a combusting process to be broken down, which causes air and water pollution. Not only that, it takes up a lot of space in our landfills. Americans generated about 250 million tons of trash in 2018. That's a lot of waste. Sourcing raw material to produce new packaging requires more energy, more sources, and more money. Recycling is a great solution. For example, recycled aluminum cans alone can save up to 95% of energy during production, opposed to sourcing new material. Where does it even go? The four localities associated with the VIPSA recycling program have their recycled goods sent out either directly to or transferred to the TFC recycling plant in Chesapeake, Virginia, where roughly 46 loads are delivered per day. Staff and state-of-the-art technology then sort through between 10 and 18,000 tons of material per month to first separate any contaminants or items that are not recyclable. Contaminants slow the process down significantly and even ruins loads. Once all contaminants have been removed, the recyclables are then separated into light material. Before being sold to various places worldwide, the recyclables are packaged together in bales and individually inspected by staff. Then, it's off to be reused and to start a new life. But what about those contaminants? On average, about 25% of what we put into the carts isn't even recyclable. It is our job to know the difference, so we can do our part to keep recycling costs down. So, pop quiz. Let's see how well you are recycling. Can you recycle laundry detergent bottles? Yes. Cardboard boxes? Yes. Pizza boxes? No. Grease contaminates the fibers. Motor oil container? No. Sports drink bottles? Yes. Water bottles? Yes. Light bulbs? No. Mirrors? No. Scrap metal? No. Cereal tissue and pasta boxes? Yes. Plastic wrap and bubble wrap? No. Glass bottles and jars? Yes. The metal lids are recyclable too. Shampoo bottles? Yes. Soda cans? Yes. Soup cans? Yes. Paper towels, napkins, and tissues? No. Paint cans? No. Styrofoam products? No. Magazines, mail, phone books, and newspapers? Yes. Diapers? No. Ew. Plastic bags? No. 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 If you don't have reusable shopping bags, get some. If you have to use plastic bags, take them back to the grocery store to be recycled. Hopefully now we can reduce the amount of contaminants going into our recycling system. Just remember, when in doubt, throw it out. It is our responsibility to understand how to best contribute to this process. Be sure to follow the checklist. Recycling is a major process to reduce environmental and economic strains. However, we should always aim to first reduce the amount of consumption and then find ways to reuse packaging ourselves before sending it off to be recycled. Reduce, reuse, recycle. For more information, please visit jamescitycountyva.gov slash recycle or give the recycling hotline number a call at 757-253-6700.